Welcome to Story Time with Miss Chante. We're here at Mainerville Public Library and we're going to read you a story. Roses are pink and your feet really stink by Dana de Goat. And I hope you enjoy it. Let's start. Roses are pink and your feet really stink. Violets are blue, roses are red, to children's librarians, Sniff said. There they were, 15 blank Valentine cards, waiting to be filled with nice Valentine poems. They were sitting on the kitchen table in a pile as high as Gilbert's nose. Miss Bird had told them to write something nice for each classmate because Valentine's Day was about liking each other. Gilbert liked Patty a lot. She had smiley eyes and a silly laugh that made Gilbert feel silly too. He picked out the biggest card and wrote inside. Roses are red, violets are blue, your eyes are nice and I like you, Gilbert. Gilbert also liked Frank. Frank let Gilbert use his baseball mitt once when Gilbert forgot to bring his own. Mm -hmm. On Frank's card, he wrote, Your name is Frank. It isn't Hank. You lent me your mitt, so I, so, so you, I think, Gilbert. This is fun, Gilbert thought, and he continued to write nice Valentine poems until there were two left. One for Lewis and one for Margaret. Gilbert didn't want to write a nice poem for Lewis. Lewis once tweaked Gilbert's nose until it turned red. He didn't want to write a nice poem for Margaret either. Margaret made fun of Gilbert's glasses. So he didn't write a nice poem. Uh-oh. On Lewis's card, he wrote, Violets are blue, roses are pink, your feet are big, and they really stink. Gilbert thought the poem was funny, but maybe Lewis wouldn't. Maybe he would tweak Gilbert's nose when he read it. Gilbert didn't want Lewis to tweak his nose again, so he didn't sign his name. He signed it Margaret. On Margaret's card, he wrote, Roses are red, you wet the, your bed, and I think that you have rocks in your head. <gasps> That's not nice. Gilbert liked the poem, but he didn't think Margaret would. He didn't want Margaret to say mean things to him again, so he signed the card, Lewis. On Valentine's Day, Gilbert walked to school with 15 cards in a tin of Valentine cookies that his mother had baked for the party. Miss Bird let everyone open their cards. One of Gilbert's cards had an X all over the envelope, so he opened it first. It said, Roses are red! Violets are blue. You are my friend and I like you. And it has X's all over it. It was signed Patty. Gilbert smiled at Patty and Patty giggled back. Gilbert opened the rest of his cards and they were all very friendly. Even Lewis had written a poem for him. You may be small. You're not very tall. But I like the way that you play ball, Lewis. Gilbert was happy that Lewis liked the way he played ball. And Margaret wrote, Sometimes you are very sweet. I hope you brought nice cookies to eat. Love, Margaret. Gilbert smiled to himself. Margaret thought that he was very sweet. He looked over at Margaret. She wasn't happy with one of her valentines. Uh-oh. She stuck her tongue out at Lewis. Mm. Lewis.
Louis wasn't happy with one of his valentines either. He stuck his tongue out at Margaret. Mm. Margaret pushed Louis. Louis called Margaret a bad name. Miss Bird said, quiet, please. Valentine's Day is about liking each other, not about fighting. She made the class do book work for the rest of the morning. Everybody was mad at Lewis and Margaret, even Gilbert. When it was reading time, Margaret looked through all of her valentines again and said, I have two valentines from Lewis. A good one and a bad one. Lewis said, I didn't write a bad one. Someone else wrote my name. And he looked through his pile of cards and said, I have two valentines from Margaret and none from Gilbert. And then he shouted, Oh, no! Gilbert wrote the bad cards and signed our names. And Miss Bird said, Quiet, please. At lunch, nobody wanted to sit near Gilbert, not even Patty. She had to sit all by he had to sit all by himself. When he peeked over his carrot and banana sandwich, <coughs> he could see Patty and Lewis giggling at their table. Gilbert wondered if Lewis thought Patty had smiley eyes and a silly laugh too. He saw Margaret eating peanut butter and jelly sandwich like she did every day. Gilbert liked peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and wished he was eating one too. At recess, nobody played with Gilbert, and Gilbert was very sorry that he had written two mean, nasty valentines. Then they all lined up to go inside. Patty finally asked, Why did you write bad things about your friends, Gilbert? Because Lewis tweaked my nose, Gilbert said, and Margaret had made fun of my glasses. Lewis said, I'm sorry I tweaked your nose, Gilbert. You can tweak mine if you want. Gilbert gave Lewis's nose a little tweak, but it didn't turn red. And Margaret said, I'm sorry I made fun of your glasses, Gilbert. I will wear them for the rest of the day. And she put the glasses on, but she couldn't see anything. And Gilbert couldn't see anything, so she gave them back to him. In art class, Gilbert made two new valentines out of red paper and lace. During spelling, Gilbert wrote a new poem for Lewis. Violets are blue, roses are pink. I'm sorry I said that your feet really stink. Then Gilbert thought of something nice about Margaret. He liked the way that she always smelled like peanut butter and jelly. So he wrote a new poem for her. Roses are red, jelly is sweet. You smell as good as your sandwich you eat. That was nice. And then in math, Gilbert figured out what that he had 364 days before he would have to write any more valentines. <gasps> Yay! Finally, it was time for the party. Gilbert gave the new cards to Lewis and Margaret, and he passed out the cookies that his mother had baked. And each cookie said, Happy Valentine's Day! Well, I hope you enjoy the story as much as I do. This is one of my favorites. Roses are pink and feet, your feet really stink. You can find it at the library. Tune in next time. Bye!